Hello friends, I have an amazing Dollar Tree haul. We hit the jackpot and I have been getting stuff as I go along without even posting it on our Instagram. So I'm super excited. So we're gonna get into it right now. Okay, I did find four of the Freeman um, Beauty Infusion Purifying Masks and I found it also in the clay mask. But I didn't want to haul the clay mask because I wanted, um, I needed more in shower um, face wash, basically. So that's what I got was this because I can use it in the shower and it just, it just made more sense for me. So, anyways, super excited. I did pick up these four and it's sea kelp probiotics, instantly boosts clarity, restores balance, renews skin. And I mean, I know for a fact that, you know, the 99 cent store would not sell these for a dollar. You know, they'd be like a dollar 99, blah, blah, blah. And so to be able to haul them is great. And these are, again, going back to making ma masks, <laughs> to making beauty baskets and stocking stuffers. This is a great little, um, little item to put in a beauty bag or beauty basket. So that was a fun find. And then I also decided to haul the Bior um, Free Your Pores Charcoal Great for Oily Skin because I do have oily skin and I do wear a lot of makeup. So I decided to give this a try. I've never tried the Biore because it's, it's expensive and, you know, I'm cheap. So cleansing micellar water, no need to rinse oil free. I don't know how I feel about not rinsing. I don't know. Huh. This could be good for camping, you know, no rinse, save water. All right, removes makeup, deep cleans, pours, and refreshes. 2.5 fluid ounces. And this is really good if for travel on the plane because it says, you know, you don't have to rinse. So, and it meets the requirement to get on the plane with as far as liquids go. All right, I also was able to call the Wet n Wild Mega Cushion Foundation SPF 15. It's a liquid foundation in a cushion compact. And I really like the packaging, I'm going to show it to you, contains natural coconut derivative. All right, there's the the front. How cute is that? I think it's adorable. She's adorable. SPF 15. And let me see if I can open it up with one hand. Hold on. Sorry about this. Nope, I can't. Hold on. Has the cute little Wet n Wild logo. Nice sponge. Definitely feels quality. Definitely a nice sponge. And then, yeah, the sponge is really nice. Wow, it'd be nice if they sold the sponge by itself. All right, you open it up, and here we have the sticker part. Now, make sure, even if you have to open, I mean, don't open this up in the store. But even if you just have to open up the compact to get to this part to make sure that no one has, you know, please remove protective film before uh, using, basically, enclosed tightener. Let's see, before use and close um, container tightly. All right, so you definitely wanna make sure that you're the first one to peel this or that this is still there because you know, then someone's put their dirty fingers all over and that's just not cool. All right, this color looks like it's gonna be um, fine and I only picked up one because, I mean, obviously, you know, I couldn't swatch it there, but this looks like it's good. They did have several different shades and I was just afraid, you know, when I don't see a light, when, when it does not say light or natural, I kind of get nervous. So I only picked up one and um, it looks like everything's going to be cool. So again, cute packaging and, you know, Christmas is around the corner and I know, you know, everyone's like, oh, it's July, you know, Crystal, you and your Christmas. It's a dollar. It's a dollar, and the, I don't think they sell these for a dollar at the drugstores. So, again, this would be a really cute stocking stuffer, or if you want to donate to um, teenagers, home, you know, if you do charity, yeah, this would be great to donate. Let's see, it does have an expiration date 20, uh, okay, expires December 31st, 2020. Buff beige is what I got. Buff beige. All right, so that's why it's at the Dollar Tree then. Okay, but you know what? I still think it's cute, so I'm not going to even stress that. All right, that's not all the makeup. I mean, this is a great makeup haul. I mean, I could have done a Dollar Tree makeup haul alone, but of course, you know, we always go extra. All right, hold on. 
And I also picked up the e.l.f. Flawless Face Powder in Light Beige. Yep, I think I've hauled this before and I like it. So picked that up. And again, we're seeing all name brands and that is totally the name of the game. Everything's a dollar. All right, I picked up the e.l.f. Beautifully Bare um, Stipple Brush. Really nice. And I also picked up the Sculpting Face Brush. And the angled contour brush. I'll probably use this really for eyeshadow to kind of blend my eyeshadow. And the right, the small stipple brush. And then I picked up the small angle brush. And that's like for a smoky eye is what I'll use that for. So, I mean, look at all of this cool stuff. Plus, I found the e.l.f. color correcting stick. Correct red. So, I mean, this is all stuff that you could get for stocking stuffers if you have teenage daughters or teenage sons that like to play around with makeup. And this is just the makeup part of our Dollar Tree haul. So I think we did pretty, pretty well. All right, let's get into the really fun stuff. Oh, wait, oh, wait. I also, this is a repurchase, the Rave, the four times mega hold. They have it out there in two times and four times. I need the mega hold. And I actually like the little spritz. So this is already a repurchase. I like it. First fall item is this cute travel cup sweater weather. And these seem to be the ones that are selling out the quickest. They are double sided, comes with the white top. And um, caution, hot beverage is what it says on top. So this is good for on the go. And I just thought, you know what? This is really cute for those cold fall days. And I want to put some hot tea or coffee. And I am you know need to hit my stores. And this can go with me in the car. And it won't spill. And it also has enough room where I can put my straw in there. So this was just too cute. And like I said, out of all, I mean, I've been going to, you know, different Dollar Trees. And this one seems to be the one that's selling out the quickest. Now, these make for also cute gifts because you could pair this up with, you know, um, homemade treats. Put homemade treats in there or put homemade treats, you know, around it. Um, put a cute, you know, coffee bean card inside. So a lot of fun stuff can be done with this. And this sweater weather, another thing I like about it is um, it's kind of like could carry you through January. You know, it's not it doesn't scream autumn. It doesn't scream um, Christmas. So you could definitely take it through the end of January because it's kind of like a winter thing, theme, rather. All right. And, of course, I went crazy. I'm not going to even lie. I just had so much fun when I ran into all this really cool stuff. So, ribbon. Let's talk about ribbon. All right. Crafter's Corner. I fell in love with this fall ribbon, the acorns, the fall leaves. You all know how much I just absolutely adore fall. So I picked up one of these. This is nine foot roll wire edged ribbon, curls easily and keeps its shape, two and a half inches. Um, it's three yards, nine feet, okay? So picked up one in that shade. Then I thought if I wanted to do Depending on my wreath, I thought this would go good together. Good, go good together. You know, like maybe do every six. Well, of course, okay. Every third one, I'm gonna put the ribbon. But I thought put one of these, and then every third ribbon do this because I think these two go well together. At least in my little head, how what what, what I'm envisioning. So that's what I decided to get because I thought these really complemented each other, and I could see this working on a wreath. All right, then I picked up the buffalo check. Yes, I did. How cute. And I think, you know, I, I grabbed this because I didn't know if they were gonna have it at Christmas. So better to be safe than sorry. I might even pick up another one. Also, I thought, how cute is this harvest plaid? Again, this is all Crafter Square. I called it Crafter's Corner, huh? Anyways, um, and again, I think, you know, if I wanted to, I could do something with all three of these ribbons for a wreath. So wait, wait until I show you all everything, okay? I think that'll make a lot more sense once I show you everything. All right, then of course I went, I had to get this. 
All right, what I really like about the, okay, besides it being the red truck and having the, um, the pumpkins, look it. If you don't get the pumpkins, the red truck and the pumpkins, you get these three pumpkins with the green leaves. How cute. Totally adorable. Love it. And I did pick up another ribbon. Hold on. I decided to get all of the buzzwords. Hello, fall, autumn, give thanks. Doesn't that just look pretty? It looks like I am ready to get my wreath on. Ready to get my wreath on. Yes, I am. And, you know, again, I could bounce this burgundy and white buffalo. I don't know if this is buffalo check. I guess it'll be buffalo check because it's small. I could bounce it off of the red truck as well. So lots to think about. Lots to think about. It's so, so cute. I am loving it. All right. Then I also picked up Crafter's Corner. I also picked up Harvest. Thankful, Harvest, and Welcome. And how cute are these going to be on a wreath? And I don't want to take them out of the packaging because I really don't have a place to store all of my crafting items. And I need to get a container of some type to store all of my crafting items. So I'm just going to leave it in there. But this is what it looks like. So I did pick up. They, they were totally, totally just stocking. And we'll do a walkthrough. But I just didn't have time to, you know, wait for them to pull everything out. So... Any hoosers. All right. Mesh. Halloween mesh. I thought, I just really liked it. I really, really liked it. Look at the gold. Look at the orange, the black, the white. Reminds me of candy corn. And this is only six by five. And then I think this is the same. Yeah, this is the same. I, I picked up two of these because Crystal has an idea of what she wants to do. So I picked up two of these. And then I picked up this. Because I might make a wreath using these two colors. I really, really like like using one, two, and then a ribbon and making it a three. And then using the pipe cleaner to hold it all together and putting it on a wreath. So I'm thinking these two are what I'm going to use. But I, I just liked to, I wanted to get an extra of this because I think I could also incorporate this into a fall wreath. Now let me show you the wreaths I found. I found the football wreath. Yes, I did. Okay, I found it. I'm not sure, you know, like it gave me an idea here, but then I'd have to run around and go look. I mean, I could do anything I want, really. You know, I just have to kind of go on YouTube and kind of see how exactly I'm going to do this because right now we really don't have a team. Um, I'm probably just going to do this for fun to see how it comes out. But, you know, I might want to put like fall or I don't know what I'm going to do. I'm not sure. And I got the pumpkin. You know, I did. Of course I did. Oh, my gosh. Of course I did. All right. So I'm thinking I want to do this harvest pumpkin, a harvest pumpkin. Kind of something where I can have it out um, during October and November. Same thing with the football, because like I said, we're not that much into football this year, so not really sure what I'm going to do with the football yet. Um, I don't know, you know, maybe I'll find out what our local high school's colors are and maybe um, do it off of that, donate, I don't know, donate it, I don't know. But I just want the experience of working with different shapes. That's really why I, I bought it. And of course, I mean, the pumpkin one, I went crazy. I was like, yes, yes, yes. So these are out there. They are out there. You just have to hunt them down. And I fell in love with this green pumpkin. Now, the green pumpkin is, <laughs> I don't know if they only sent a couple or what. There was two. And the stuff was just rolling out. So if you like the green pumpkin, it's a beautiful hunter green. I only picked up one because the other stump um was or not stump what am i thinking of oh my gosh the trunk the stem there we go the stem all right 
The stem was messed up, so I chose this one. Well, I only had two to choose from, but my point is, is that they're going fast. The green seems to be popular. And again, you know, like I just, I love looking at all the fall colors. It seems like everything could just work with it, you know? I mean, even that would look cute. I mean, I just like getting, uh, I'm going way off topic here. But, um, and of course I picked up, you know, the custom, the orange, right? How to get the orange. And I wasn't, didn't think I was big on the white one. But it was too cute, you know, so I had to. And then I also picked up the blue. And I picked up, this is the last one. Well, these are actually all the shades. So, I mean, I couldn't pick up anymore. I picked up this kind of like, I want to say it's a rose gold. Oops. Calm down there. Calm down. Okay. Rose gold. So, there's five colors. I hauled them all. Now, these are going to go into that really cute pumpkin tin that I hauled from the 99 cent store. I have a blanket that I'm going to put underneath and kind of to, to fluff these up. And I'm going to get a couple more pumpkins and then I'll be done. I'll have like my little pumpkin tin all ready. And I love all of these colors. I mean, look at all this fall stuff is just meshing so well together. I am so super excited, everyone. I also scored on the burlap, the big burlap. These were the last two. And this is designed by Simple Style, five inch by 10 yards. I don't know how I got so lucky, but the, there's, these were, there were two waiting and I picked them up. I am so excited, everyone. And wait till you see what I'm gonna show you right now. I completed the mesh, the 21 inch mesh. Yes, I did. All right, I picked up two purple for Halloween, although I'm not quite sure what I'm gonna do for Halloween. <laughs> I picked up two in the green for Halloween, and I picked up the pink for spring, and the blue, I think. I don't know, like I said, I mean, maybe for the football, depending on what the colors are of our local teams. All I know is for a dollar, I was not going to like just pass these by, even though I have no clue what I'm doing with them. I mean, I might hold on to the pink for spring. And then again, I could do summer with the blue. But I think I could use this purple for um, the purple and green could definitely be used for Halloween. And then, of course, I know I've showed you all my harvest mesh. I just love the colors. And I wanted to show them to you in case someone is new and you haven't seen that we did haul the harvest mesh. So, yeah, I hauled, I was able to find all this 21 inch mesh. So now I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, nine, nine rolls. Nine. Yeah, I don't, I mean, okay, if you're new to our channel, I'm new to crafting. And, but I do, I'm not new to bargain shopping. <laughs> so I know a deal when I see one. And yes, um, I was not just going to idly be like, oh no, you know, I don't, since I don't know what I'm going to do, I'm just not, I'm, you know, I'm not going to buy it. Because even if I don't use this for a year, you know, or six months, it's going to be in my crafting container. Well, I have yet to get the crafting container, but that's in the works. So I am so excited, everyone, you know, and um, like I said, I've been going to Dollar Trees, you know, all up in my local area. And sometimes I walk out completely empty handed and, um, I just happened to hit the jackpot and, um, I did do a walkthrough. So if you have not watched our walkthrough, I think I did it on, I don't know, Friday, maybe, um, definitely check it out because there was a lot of cool stuff that came through. Now, Again, if you all have any ideas to help me out, I would truly appreciate it. But um, I think for sure, you know, just depending on what type of wreath I'm doing for Halloween, I think I could incorporate, honestly, all of these colors somehow, some way. And then the harvest, you know, I'm still working on it in my head. It just has not, I mean, I know what I want, but I'm not going to find the ribbon at any of the local craft stores. I just have to bite the bullet and pay the money for it. So just really quick, I honestly think, yeah, I mean, I could do something Halloween with the purple and the green. And even though this isn't as wide, I could somehow make incorporate this. So I'm not going to worry. I mean, if you guys, okay, my first idea was I could cut this down to size, 
you know, like this same size. But then everyone said, no, don't do that because you're going to get a lot of frays and, you know, it's just, it, it, it's not going to work. And after making my first wreath using mesh, I know exactly what you mean by the frays because I had to go back and trim them all down and, you know, it was, you know, I had a lot of fray. So I don't want to ruin this by trying to cut it down to size. So let me know what you all think. Because, I mean, a lot of you have been crafting, you know, and you guys are really awesome. And you guys have helped me. And I truly appreciate it. So just um, let me know how you think I could incorporate this with these big. Or if I should even attempt to cut them down or just use them as is. Because it's a big, I mean, I've never worked with a mesh that big. So it's a big difference between working with this mesh and working with this huge mesh. And first up is pumpkin spice and everything nice. Of course, I had to get that. Um, I'm not going to be using this. I don't know if I could use this in a wreath. I mean, I do have a square wreath. And I do have an 18 inch wreath. So, I mean, I could use any sign I want, <laughs> technically. But I don't know if this pops out enough. So I'm not sure if I'm going to use it for a wreath. I kind of have an idea of what, which one I do want to use for a wreath. And then I also like this one, Friends Gather Here. I absolutely love the colors. They're not really, they're very light. And right now, that type of green really matches my decor. So that is going to look really cute. Um, the only problem I have with these square ones is that they tend to be warped. And so they don't adhere to the wall the way I like them to. I'm very, very picky. So let me know how you all get it to be straight against the wall. Now, this is really cool because I didn't even notice this. Because this is, it's glitter, but it's really matte. Friends gather here. And it's just a little bit of glitter. I could hardly even tell. Now, this I could tell it was glitter because this pops and I'm all about it. Um, this, of course, is thankful, grateful, blessed. We see this like, you know, these are the buzzwords. Oops. Um, and all right. Thankful, grateful, blessed. And of course, you have like the fall leaves. You have the pumpkin. And um, like I said, I am going to do a store walkthrough. It's just that they were not done putting everything out. And I just honestly, you know, I mean, I can't be staying at the Dollar Tree for hours waiting for them to... <laughs> everything out so um I just you know I hauled what I really wanted to haul and to be honest I actually opened up this box because this is all new this decor is new um this is not like from last year and I was like you know what I need to go and so there wasn't anyone really on the floor so I actually opened up the box myself and took um the whole box was filled with with these, you know, so I just took one and one. It's not like I, you know, bought the box and went crazy. I just took one and one and uh, yeah, and I'm really, you know, I'm not, I'm not sure what I'm going to do with these. I'll, I'll be totally honest with you. I'm not sure what I'm going to do with them. Um, I think mostly I bought them to share with everyone here so that you guys know what's out there. Um, if you guys have any ideas of what I could do with these, let me know because one of my biggest pet peeves is the fact that you can already see that these do not lie flat and it's hard for me to put them on my walls knowing that they don't lie flat so anyways um if you guys have any ideas of how i can use these to craft let me know i'm i'm all up for um constructive criticism okay constructive criticism okay <laughs> let me make that very clear because some people get wild in the comment sections but um anyways there's a lot more out at dollar tree and we're not even done with our haul so i'm just gonna keep going and I found the fruit. I found the floral garden. I found the um, red apple. I picked up two of the red apples. I picked up two of the green apples. And then I picked up four of the pears. Now, was this all at one place? No. Don't I wish, right? But I will say um, I picked up all of the apples today at the one dollar tree store that I went to and I think I had like maybe two pairs from another place and then I no I'm sorry I only had two pairs from one other store so everything else came from the other um dollar tree and I pretty much cleared out everything they had because um everyone is I mean this is so hard to find you know I don't even know what other fruit is out there but I don't know how I'm going to use it because I don't know if I'm going to be you know if I'm going to put it on a wreath 
because that would look cute. Like these two would look really good on a wreath. And so would the green apple. So I'm not sure how I'm going to use these, but I'm going to, I mean, if I keep finding them, I'm going to keep picking them up. I think they're absolutely adorable. Great for wreath making or, you know, get a cute little crate and put them, you know, as table decor, dress it up, you know, I mean, lots of cute ribbon I could use to wrap around it and make it look cute, like in a cute little crate. All right. What else do we have? Books. I love being able to haul books. This was Walmart 848. No one's paying $8.48. Famous in Love, soon to be a free form original series starring Bella Thorne. And I picked it up for 99 cents. And this is just kind of like, you know, I mean, look at large um, print. It's just kind of no, you know, pool reading. I call it pool reading. You don't have to think that much. All right. I forgot what this is. Oh, okay. Almost gone. 25 days and one chance to save our daughter. And I thought, you know, let's, let's take a look and read. This is a true story. I do love true stories. This was $24.99. I don't know where this came from. This is $24.99. Ouchie. Uh, $33.99 if you're, were in Canada. I picked it up for a dollar. So really, you know, cute books, um, something like Famous in Love, that would be a cool book to give, you know, to a young adult um, over Christmas vacation, because it is important to read and not just on Kindle, you know, it's, it, it's, it's always nice to have a good book in your hand. All right. And of course, Crystal's Famous Lemon Puckers, which I know a lot of you have come to like because you've let me know in the comment section. And yes, they are hard to find. So when you do find them... You got to stock up. So Crystal hauled, let's see, how many did I, oh my gosh, did I only get four? Ah, now I got to hunt for more. I only bought four. Oh my goodness. That's crazy. All right. I bought four. You all know how much I love these lemon puckers and, you know, I've said it a million times. This Hello Kitty triple feature is $16.49 right now on the Walmart website. And if you don't believe me, go ahead and Google it. Pause it. Look up Hello Kitty triple feature. It is $16.49. You can order it right now at Walmart or you can find it at your local Dollar Tree like I did. <laughs> yeah, I was, I mean, a lot of people we, we know go to Dollar Tree and then sell this stuff on eBay, Mary Carey, Poshmark, and you know, Amazon. And, you know, it's, it's, it's ranging anywhere from, um, $3.99 to $9.99. But if you want to buy it at Walmart, it is $16 and 49 cents. So I just thought that was, you know, just plum crazy, especially when you can get it at Dollar Tree. And then the not so fun stuff, but you know, necessities, my husband needed a new loofah. So got him the black one. And then I decided to get this final touch oxy stain remover have not tried it. Looks good. Uh, clings to pre-treat and safely bleaches out stains safe on colors. Um, light, fresh scent, 32 fluid ounces. So I said, all right, let's give it a try. All right. There's something else I wanted to show you really quick. I'm going to dump this um, fruit really quick. I did buy this beautiful charger plate at, I think it was Michael's. Yes, Michael's for $4.99, $4.99, and actually less because I used, um, I think I got 20% off of it, 20% off, but I wanted it, and what I like about it is that I can bring this out in September, and it will carry me out through the end of November, and if I want to use it next summer, I can, you know, sunflowers are summer too, so definitely a cute little um, charger plate for you know, less, I think I paid like three something plus tax for it. Then their 4th of July items were on sale. So I've been wanting to get my husband a calendar for his desk because right now we have a calendar hanging on a wall and I don't know, I don't like it. <laughs> so I thought maybe if we had a calendar on the desk, a cute one, and this is cute, red, white, and blue. And it was on sale because the red, white, and blue stuff was like, I forget how much percentage that was off, but this was $24.99 and I paid, I think like $9 for it, $9 for it. So this is super cute. And 
um, yeah. So we this these are the two items I picked up at Michael's. Now I'm going to show you what I got on clearance from Hobby Lobby. So today is July 28th. So I just changed it over. And how it works is, of course, here are the numbers. And then there are all of the months. So I think this is a good deal for $9 considering it was $24.99. This beautiful carpet was part of their 66% off. Now, this part, this is a really nice size carpet. I absolutely love the navy blue tassels. This was part of the spring shop. Right now it's laying on top of the mesh, but look at these cute tassels. Navy blue. I think this is, yeah, it's navy blue. It's coming across as black in the, um, in the camera, but 66% off. And as you can see, it does say spring shop $29.99 and it is let's see navy yep it is navy 42% cotton how am I supposed to clean this uh, block clean clean sponge or cloth shake or vacuum okay um, hardwood floor yeah we have hardwood floors all right so this is two three by three by three by nine all I know is it's a nice size I mean it's covering up my whole entire um, freezer and it's hanging over so this is I actually bought this to go in front of my um, washer and dryer and I really like the tassels and again ten dollars and twenty cents you can't beat the prices now what a lot of people don't realize when they go into Hobby Lobby is that what I do is I look for the rugs I look for the rugs forget everything else I'm looking for rugs and even though this is navy blue, it still fell into spring shop. And you know what? I am happy. For $10.20, yeah, I'm very happy. <laughs> so that's what I picked up at Hobby Lobby yesterday. All right, my friends, that is our Dollar Tree haul. And yeah, I think we did a good job. I'm very, very happy with all of our finds. As always, thank you so much for your support. Have a great day or a great evening, my friends. I hope you all enjoyed this. Thank you so very much.